Guys, my name is Bhushan. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In our previous lecture, we have discussed how to store a student object to a database. In this lecture, let's display the records in our least students JSP. So without wasting our time, let's flip to Eclipse IDE. Let's open a student controller. So in this lecture, we will write a controller part. In our next lecture, we will design our least student JSP and display the data. So in the student controller, let's write a public method. Public string get all students get all students is our method name so this will return a JSP name return list students and inside this we will write our business logic so here we will call our service method using a student service object student service dot get all students and this will return a list list which is of type student list of students and we will now we have to create this get all students method in our uh, service layer press control 1 and hit enter so we have declared our uh, get all students in our student service interface now open up your uh, student service implementation now click on this uh, student service implementation and uh, press control 1 it will ask you to add unimplemented methods hit enter and it will uh, add the method so here we will call the DAO method return student DAO dot get all students all right now we have to create this get all students in a DO interface for that press control 1 and hit enter so now in the student DAO interface we have uh, declared this method now open up your uh, student DAO implementation all right in student DAO implementation let's add unimplemented methods for that press control 1 it will ask you to add unimplemented methods hit enter so it will create a method for us and here we will uh, write our hibernate query so before that let's get a current session for that we will use a session factory object and get current session dot create a query and inside this we will write our hibernate query so the hibernate query is from student and it will return a list for that and we will use a list method and I will return this to our service layer so return and now go back to our student controller and in the student controller now we have to add this list students object to a model attribute for that we will use model and using more model add attribute model dot add attribute and this model internally uses a map interface for that we will specify a key and value the key is nothing but some string I will uh, give the key as uh, the students and the value is nothing but list of students object alright now let's save this alright we have to, one more thing we have to specify a request mapping so for that above our method specify at request mapping and the value is list students you can give any name but it's always recommend to give a meaningful names list students all right so now we have written our controller part in our next lecture let's design our list students jsp and display the data in that page so thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next video